What's going on guys, CJR here today with uh, a little bit of a different video. Basically I've decided to start a vlog, um, mostly in part due to one person, uh, that's Casey Neistat, uh, the title of this video. Uh, Casey Neistat's a New York City filmmaker um, who I believe about six months ago decided to do a daily vlog. Casey's a extremely high energy and inspirational guy. Um, I myself at times uh, tend to be a little bit unmotivated and uh, watching Casey's videos and just how much he accomplishes uh, throughout the day has really motivated me to uh, one, do these vlogs and two, um, do more. So I originally found Casey by looking up these, the uh, hands-free Segway, the hoverboard. I stumbled across his video that said uh, uh, $300 hands-free Segway and that's how I originally found Casey and uh, I followed his links, did some more research on my own, and I picked one of these up, as, as most of you have seen already. Absolutely love this thing, it's a ton of fun, and uh, it'll be featured in a lot of my vlogs also. I purchased a whiteboard, and uh, every day I write down things that I need to get done. Thank you, Casey, for motivating me to uh, start these vlogs, and um, yeah, just kind of motivating me. He's got a tattoo that says, do more, and um, I'm trying to kind of live by that. So Casey lives in New York City, which is obviously a really cool place to vlog from. At first, I didn't think that I'd be able to do it uh, living where I live. Uh, not that it's not really an exciting place, it's just, it's not New York City. After watching Casey's vlogs for a while now, I quickly realized that uh, while New York City obviously is a very interesting place to film in itself, uh, it wasn't the be-all and end-all of his vlog. A lot of sections of his vlog I really enjoy watching are moments with his family, walking around on transit, going to uh, his home in Connecticut, at the beach, stuff like that, stuff that really isn't determined by his setting. Once I decided that uh, that really wasn't an issue, um, I decided that I'm gonna give the, the whole vlog thing a shot. Another thing as I was watching Casey's videos is uh, they're extremely well shot, add some really good music, some time-lapse photography in there, uh, really enjoyable visually. Uh, I quickly realized that uh, he wasn't doing anything that I couldn't do. He himself said that he initially started by watching an iMovie um, tutorial. So uh, I don't believe he's classically trained, or at least when he started making films that, that he uh, uh, was trained in filmmaking. Um, he simply just taught himself and he uses a lot of the same equipment as I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my equipment here because I've, I've uh, actually looked into, I enjoy his vlogs so much, I've looked into the equipment that he was using, but I'll get to that in a minute. I realized that uh, starting a vlog would be a great way for me to get better at uh, editing, filming, um, cutting, stuff like that. So uh, that's one of the main reasons why I wanna do this is just to make my videos better. Obviously as we go, the video quality will get better. So you can check out a link to Casey's channel in the description below. I highly recommend you go watch his videos. He's one of my favorite vloggers. Uh, I watch his video daily and I absolutely love it. Thank you Casey Neistat for motivating me uh, to start a blog and really just an everyday life. My blog, of course, will be still partially gaming related, but not completely gaming related. You know, obviously gaming's a, a big part of my life. You'll still see the usual videos. This is just kind of like an extra thing. And if you're not into it, you don't need to watch. Things that are coming up in my life. I'm opening that store. Uh, I'm opening a gaming store in a, in a town nearby about 20 minutes away. So I'll be obviously vlogging the process of that. I've already started filming the search process for a uh, location. I'm also big into movies and music. My kids, as you know, will be a big part of my vlog. Uh, I've got a bunch of vacations coming up. I really wanna show what it's like to live in Ontario, Canada. And here's one of my kids right now in his underwear. You wanna say hi, buddy? You got peanut butter all over your face too. Also, another thing that I've started recently is running. I've started a couch to 5K thing, so I'll be kind of chronicling that, trying to get back into shapes. I feel like there's gonna be something for everybody. Uh, like I said, if you're not into the vlogs, you don't need to watch them. So right now, I'm gonna commit to one vlog a week. We'll see how it goes. Filming's not a big issue, but the uh, it's the editing that's really time consuming. So new camera equipment. I've picked up a lot of new equipment lately. Um, I've really kind of gone overboard. I, I've been meaning for a long time to get a new camera. And uh, with a little bit of money that I actually make from YouTube, a couple hundred dollars a month, I've been saving up for uh, six or seven months to one, get a new camera and some new equipment. So thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos all this time. I'm around 35,000 subscribers now. That gives me a couple hundred dollars every month to put back into my collection or back into these videos. So thank you very much. So the first thing I picked up was a Canon 70D. Uh, like I said, I found out what Casey was using. I kind of just mimicked his setup. Uh, so I picked up the 70D. Fantastic camera for YouTube. Shoots excellent video. It's got the uh, the um, the selfie can like it's got it's got the fold out screen so I can see myself as I'm filming right now, which is big in a digital SLR. You don't find many that have that. 
it was my first digital SLR. Like I said, I've been meaning to get one for years now. It's really nice having a digital SLR for YouTube videos because obviously I can use it as a, um, a digital SLR camera also, uh, which is great for uh, shooting the kids and uh, scenery, stuff like that, whatever it is. That being said, it's my first digital SLR and uh, I'm still learning ISO aperture and all that. So I'm gonna take a couple courses. That's another thing I can follow my vlogs is, uh, is my transition into using a digital SLR and learning the, kind of learning the ropes. And with the 70D came the uh, 18 to 135 millimeter lens, which is good for everyday stuff. But uh, for this kind of stuff, I'm using an ultra wide angle lens. I picked up this 10 to 18 millimeter lens, did a lot of research on it. It's a, it's a pretty cheap lens. I think it was 350 Canadian. Um, it's, it's made of plastic. It's not as good a quality as my other lens, which is all metal. It's got a plastic um, mounting ring. Uh, which a lot of people don't like, but for the value, 350 bucks for a lens like this. Um, it's fantastic at uh, this kind of stuff, really good for selfies. I'm gonna show you my selfie setup with the 70D. Standing right now a foot away from the lens, so you can get super close, and the camera's ultra wide angle. It catches a huge area, so uh, really good for pickup videos. You'll see my, my video coming up um, this Saturday shot with this lens and it can pretty much get the whole game room in. Actually really good for showing products. Like I said, I'm only two feet away right now. I can reach the lens really close, which is awesome. So really happy with this lens. That's the uh, Canon 10 to 18 millimeter. Really nice. Uh, have some trouble with lighting. It doesn't let as much light in, but I've got to figure out how to counteract that. Uh, also picked up a Black Rabbit, Black Rapid um, camera sling strap, which kind of just goes to your side. It's a sport version, so it's got this little cross piece here. Just kind of nice having your camera at your side instead of like a tourist up front here. It's kind of out of the way and you can use your hands. Really nice, really, really happy with this. Not the cheapest, I think it was, uh, I don't know if that'll show, but $90 here in Canada. But uh, I'm, I'm somebody who, I don't mind spending the money if I, like I'll probably, I won't have to buy another one of these for 10 or 15 years. So I'd rather spend the money up front and uh, get something nice. One of the biggest and most important pieces is this uh, Gorillapod with the ball head X. Um, when you're out sh uh, shooting pictures or vlogging as I've, uh, as I've found, really nice to have this tripod. It'll wrap around almost anything, really flexible, but still very rigid. You can put it on a tree, you can put it on a fence, anything like that. Use it as a, a standard tripod, really versatile piece of equipment. Uh, and then the ball head X here has got some really, a really nice joint and it, it'll swivel and stuff like that. So this is the setup that Casey uses for his, uh, for his selfies. Basically you mount the camera on here and you hold it out. Camera's not super heavy, uh, so you can, it is doable. Um, it's obviously, obviously it's still quite heavy, but you mount the camera on there and you can, and you can get a good selfie. It's a nice piece of equipment because it serves a lot of purposes. Um, a standard tripod, you can hook it on to things like I said, and then you can use it as a selfie stick for a digital SLR. Also picked up a new microphone. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, I went with this one, not only because of the sound quality, but because it's very short and it actually, on the setup I have right now, uh, it doesn't come out much further than the camera lens itself. So it's, it's a really compact microphone, great for shooting video and great for just kind of throwing in a bag and uh, not being too cumbersome. I also picked up two products by a company called Synetics. Uh, these are the Cineskates. These attach to the bottom of the Gorillapod. Uh, basically they just mount on the legs and they've got like skateboard wheels. So you can do some really cool uh, kind of dolly cam shots with this. Uh, very cool piece of equipment, really good for, I'm doing a video on an arcade machine that I recently got and you can get a really good kind of uh, panning shot with that and keeping it pretty stable. So stuff like that, it really, it's really cool for. And another product by Synetics is the uh, CineSquid suction mounts. These go on the bottom of the Gorillapod also and uh, you can mount them to anything. Um, I've mounted it to my windshield of my car and uh, works really well, it's not going anywhere. Uh, basically attaches to the bottom of the pod like the Cineskates and then you've got a really powerful suction mount that uh, mounts it to pretty much any glass any smooth, clean surface. Okay guys, that's the end of my first vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It'll get a lot better from here. The editing, the music, camera work will get better. It'll be an evolving process. So hopefully you'll stick with me. Like I said, I'm gonna commit to one a week. It might end up being two or three, depending on what's going on. I'm about to go on vacation, so I'll shoot lots of footage there. 
And uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. You can find a link to uh, Casey's channel in the description below. Feel free to go check him out. And until uh, the next episode. <laughs>